welcome back to my video. Now we are discussing theorem 4. If two angles are complementary to the same angle, then they are congruent. So firstly, we can make the illustration first. All right. A given statement from this illustration is angle B is complementary to angle A. Angle C is complementary to angle A as well. So the conclusion is angle B is congruent to angle C. So to prove it, first, we can write the given statement first. Angle B is complementary to angle A. All right, number two, we can use the definitions of complementary angles that the, the sum of uh, them are 90 degrees. Angle B, the measure plus measure of angle A, equal 90 degrees. Definition of All right. Three, we can conclude that measure B equal to 90 minus measure of angle A. This is subtraction property of equality. The reason number three is the postulate. All right, number four, we know that angle C is complementary to angle A as well, is the given statement. All right, number five, measure of angle C plus measure of angle A equal to 9, 90 degrees. So this is same as, same as uh, 2. All right, number 6, M or measure of angle C is equal to 90 minus measure of angle A. The reason same as number three. All right. So we can conclude that measure angle B is equal to measure angle C. Transitivity property of equality. This is the postulate as well, same as reason number three. And the conclusion raised angle B yeah, is congruent to angle C. Reverse. Definitions of congruent angles. Yeah. The congruence angles are angles that has same measures. Angle B and angle C has same measures. So the reverse definitions conclude that angle B 
is congruent to angle C. Yeah, we are done to prove theorem 4. Thank you very much. See you.